Hi scholars, today we're going to read a book called The Three Horrid Little Pigs. Now, this book is very similar to The Three Little Pigs, but it's a little bit switched. You'll be able to see what I mean when we first get started reading. And in the title because it says The Three Horrid Little Pigs. Now, horrid is another word for mean or bad or crazy, who, pigs who just don't listen. So I wonder if these pigs are going to be mean since it says it in the title. Hmm. Today we're going to still meet a lot of fun characters and I still want you thinking about how those characters might feel, but I really want you to listen for the problem and the solution of a story. Remember, the problem is when something goes wrong in the story and the solution is when that problem gets fixed and how it gets fixed. So remember we talked about running into friends at the playground, saying sorry and making sure everyone feels okay and no one's hurt. Remember a problem could be if I spill a bunch of crayons all over the floor, what's the solution? I can pick them up, I can make sure none are broken, and I can apologize and say sorry. So. Let's try and figure out the problem and the solution in The Three Horrid Little Pigs. All right. Once upon a time, three horrid little pigs lived with their mother in a tiny house. The pigs were very bad and they drove their mother crazy. I've had enough of you pesky pigs, she told them. It's about time you moved out and made your own way in the world. So, she packed their bags and sent them away. Out! Stop pushing. Uh-oh. That seems like a pretty big problem getting kicked out of your mom's house and having to find your own place to live. The first horrid little pig came across a big pile of straw. This straw is perfect for me to build my house, he thought. But the little pig was lazy, and he didn't make his straw house very strong at all. Luckily, a big friendly wolf, who just happened to be a builder, was passing by. <gasps> Good grief, said the wolf. What a mess that house is. I'll see if I can help. Oh, and the pig's saying that this house is good enough, so do you think that pig is going to want the wolf to help? I guess we'll find out. Little pig, little pig, may I come in? asked the wolf. No way, shouted the pig. Not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin will I let a wolf in. Put one paw on my house, and I'll huff, and I'll puff and I'll kick you out. Oh dear, I only wanted to help, said the wolf sadly as he went on his way. Hmm, this pig is sounding a little mean and cranky, huh? And this wolf seems to be nice offering his help. The second horde little pig found a huge pile of twigs. These twigs will make a great house for me, he thought. But the little pig was even lazier than his brother. So the house was a disaster. When the friendly wolf saw the terrible tangle of twigs, he thought, Oh no, that house is an accident waiting to happen. I'd better help. Hmm, do you think this pig is going to want help? Let's see. Little pig, little pig, may I come in? asked the wolf. Get lost, shouted the rude little pig. Not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin will I let a wolf in. Put one paw on my house and I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll throw you right out. Move it, wolfie. I'm sorry, said the wolf. I only wanted to help. And the wolf is thinking over there, how rude. He's just trying to be nice and make their houses better, and they keep telling him to leave. The, the third horde little pig was so lazy, he couldn't be bothered to build a house at all. So, he found a nice chicken coop instead and moved in. 
The friendly wolf just happened to be nearby. Oh my, he thought. Those poor chickens. I must speak to that pig. Oh no, the chickens are flying away saying the pig stole our house. Help! Well, that's not very nice of that pig and he doesn't fit very good in there. Little pig, little pig, may I come in? Scram, shouted the pig. Not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin will I let a wolf in. Put one paw in my house and I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll hold it right there, said the wolf. This isn't your house, it's the chicken's house. Who cares, said the little pig. Now go away, all of you. What a horrid little pig he was. So, the kind wolf invited all the chickens back to his house, which was built from bricks and very strong indeed. Meanwhile, the house built by the first horrid little pig was being eaten up by a herd of hungry cows. The house built by the second horrid little pig was being pulled apart by a flock of angry birds. And the third horrid little pig was being pecked by a rooster and went wee, 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 all the way back to his brothers, which was just what the rooster wanted. Hmm, I'm starting to think that our problem in this story was that the pigs got kicked out of their mom's house for being too crazy and they had to build their own house. But were the pigs very good at building their own house? No, I don't think they were very good at all either. So that tells me that our problem of the story was that the pigs didn't know how to build their own house and they kept getting destroyed by other animals. Now, another problem was that they didn't want the wolf's help. And the wolf was a builder, and he was able to build a very nice house of his own right here. And he was willing to help the pigs make their house just as nice as his. But they didn't want the help, so that's another problem in our story. Now, let's see if we can find the solution of our story. Of our problem, sorry. Let's get back to where we left off. Now, none of the pigs had a home, but the wolf did. And it looked warm and cozy. This house would be perfect for us, said the horrid little pigs. I'm liking this house. Me too. So they waited until dark. They climbed onto the roof and began to slide down the chimney. The wolf heard the horrid little pigs, so he got out a great, big pot of boiling. What's he gonna get? Soup! You must be hungry, said the wolf. He really was the sweetest, loveliest wolf ever. The friendly wolf let the pigs stay, and after a while they stopped being lazy, horrid little pigs, and learned how to build a sturdy house made of bricks. which was big enough for everyone. They all lived happily ever after. The end. All right, so now that we know the problem of our story, which was that the pigs got kicked out of their mom's house, let's find the page, because like any good reader, we can go back in the book. The pigs got kicked out of the mom's house. And they had to build their own houses, but they weren't very good at them. And they didn't want the help of the wolf. So that was the problem. Now, if we go to the end of our story, we see the solution to the problem. Now, I'm not gonna tell you the solution of the problem. I want you to tell me what you think the solution of the problem is. So, Go ahead and end the video and answer the question with an adult after the video to tell me what the solution is. Bye, scholars.